how sometimes in those moments you feel uninspired. <laughs> well, I'm having one of those moments today. So I'm trying a little something different, you know, just to try to, you know, get my mojo flowing, my my mind back on track. So let me, I'm just going to try a simple, you know, stand up video. See if that makes a difference. Okay. So anyway. Hey guys, this is Fia Mathis, your global indie author distributor, and I hope that you're having a great day. Now, I'm calling this one, Yes, You Can, right? And so I'm going to bring to you six points that I'm going to dive into, try to give you a little bit of insight, and as I'm giving you insight, encourage myself, because that's what I feel like I need today. All right, so the first point would be, of course, like we've all heard it before, you need to practice gratitude. In this moment right now, I need to be really thankful that I woke up this morning, that even though it's cloudy and storming outside, you know, God is still present, he's still on the throne, and there is nothing that I'm going through right now that he hasn't seen, he doesn't know about, because in all things, we know that he is that he is all-knowing and all-powerful. He knew that I would be here before I got here, right? You know, that's my favorite saying. So, as with me, he knew that you would be here before you got here. So, practicing gratitude and giving thanks is a big, huge part of the Christian walk, of how we engage with the world, how we have a relationship with God. I mean, it is ultimately everything that we are that finding gratitude in the simple pieces and keys and and struggles and backbiting and hurt feelings and loneliness you f have to find gratitude that is the only way that you survive in this life and not only that but because we're called to be the hands and feet of Christ we have to show people what that looks like even in the midst of um, mental breakdown, social breakdown, financial breakdown, you know, family breakdown, you still got to maintain that level of gratitude, right? So I want to encourage you today that whatever that looks like for you, for me is, is putting this video out here because this was actually supposed to just simply be a blog post. But I feel like because I am in the mood that I am in today, showing my face and showing up is absolutely what I need to do to be able to show gratitude and to practice that gratitude that is so necessary in this very moment, okay? Point number two, practice self-compassion. I mean, I could beat myself up right now. I should, I could probably tell myself, hey, there is absolutely no reason for you to be feeling down, to be feeling lucky, to be feeling like, you know, your life don't matter, to feel like, you know, you're not being noticed, nobody cares. I mean, all kinds of things could be going um, wrong in my head right now. And I could be in my bed under the covers. I could just kind of just shut down for the day and say everything that I had planned today, I'm not even going to bother with. But here's what I'm going to suggest you do, as I suggest this for myself, if you find yourself in this same situation. Acknowledge that you're having whatever feeling that you're having. I mean, it's not necessarily as they, as you've heard it said, right or wrong. It's just how you're feeling right now. Now, I've been, you know, throwing this pity party thing. And I'm sure we all know what that looks like. Because you, generally it's just us coming to the party and <laughs> nobody else really wants to hear about it. And, and Or the party goers would be like, hey, you know, we're having a party over here. Not that kind of party that you want to be a part of. But we're having a party because what? Life is good. Things are flowing. And sometimes even in, in the midst of you thinking that they've got it all together... They don't necessarily have it all together either. They're just choosing to do what? To practice gratitude, to recognize that they're in a moment of transition, a moment of uncertainty, where the heart and the head want to do something other than be thankful, 
other than seeing that there's light at the end of the tunnel, that there's peace on the other side of this, they're just choosing to recognize that they're having a moment right now, but not letting it consume, not letting it take over the whole of, of what their life is supposed to be, of what the words that they're um, speaking to themselves that their heart is still remaining open, even though in this moment that the that they're having their foundation shaken somewhat. Because we're all in that boat. Whatever that looks like, however that feels to you, we're all in a position where our, our foundation is a little bit shaky. Now, of course, as Christians, and as those people who believe and who trust in God, I mean, ours is not shaken as if the world who does not know that he exists but we still got we still have some concerns we still have some thought processes we still have to walk you know by faith and not by sight but still use common sense enough to know hey <laughs> certain things you don't just need to do right now okay so in all of that i'm saying practice self-compassion know where you are give yourself some grace and mercy to feel what you're feeling to be okay in this moment to say, you know what, I, I don't even know how this is going to play out. I don't even know how to fix this. I don't even know what to say about it. And, and right now, I don't even want to speak on it. I just want to cover my head up. I need to take some time and get my, get my mind back on right. And I, I just expect that you're going to be um, respectful of that and just give me the time to walk through this. I'll come out on the other side. But right now, I'm, I'm just going through, okay? Point number three, re reward yourself. Now, you know, Friday, you know, it was at my eight to five. We had a situation where there was a lot of people in the building, right? A lot of people that's not usually in our office because we're in the midst of doing this merge thing in August, so I'm, I'm going to say that we're trying to, you know, get everybody on the same page of knowing who the other parties are in our different locations and trying to figure out letting everybody know on one playing field what the responsibilities are going to be, how we're all going to transition through this. But they all kind of met <laughs> in Decatur on our campus. And so the mind was just not feeling all that um, excited, was not feeling all that good with all the people in the building. It's one thing to be around the people that you work with on a on a given day, because we're ex we could be exposed and don't even know it. But to have a situation now, you've got all these people crowded into, and this, this people understand, even though we've transitioned, we moved across the bridge. It is a to me a smaller space <laughs> okay so anyway so I have to because usually I don't leave you know campus when I actually get there because I have to go back over across the bridge you know I don't usually like to cross that bridge four times in the day twice is bad enough but the mind just needed to have some calm it, it just needed to be at peace I needed to get back centered <laughs> right I need to get to that uh, namaste, or however you say it, the sila moment, the hey, um, that aha moment, that Pam, you're going to be okay. I had, I had to get my mind back, <laughs> right? So what I did was I went and got me a cold coffee. Now, you know, if you don't know, I want you to know I like mocha cold coffee. And generally from Dunkin' Donuts, because I tried one from Burger King, and it was just no, no ma'ams, Okay. So, I'm going to say mocha cold coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, sugar and cream, please, okay? So, I ran out to get one of those. So, what I'm going to tell you, and like I said, point number three is to reward yourself. Please be able, please have a system in place where you can reward yourself. It doesn't have to be this big, huge, you know, I've got to go on a shopping spree. I've got to buy everything, you know, on, you know, in, in a certain store, or all the things I like. And I mean, if that's your choice and if you can afford to do that, then by all means, knock yourself out. But I'm just talking about in those small um, moments where you feel like, 
all of this is happening to me and I, I can't seem to control it. But the one thing I can control is to to reward myself in a, in a, a little a, a little or big piece. It just depends on the person. It's just depend I can't tell you what that looks like. But be able to have something in place that when things go awry or when you even do something well, reward yourself. That is a big, huge part of, of living in this world and in this time and just being human. The ability to reward yourself is going to take you far. Because if you always feel like you're working and you're struggling and, and you're doing all, this, all of the things and you're not, you're not seeing any progress and nobody appreciates you, that can get overwhelming. And it can make your heart heavy and your head um, sick. Okay, because what you lose hope. There's no joy in that to constantly keep going and not be recognized and not to get anything in return. Right. So put a system in place that you can reward yourself. However, that looks like for you. Okay. Point number four, use personal affirmations. Now, I am doing a in Young Living because, you know, your girl is into essential oils. And I forgot to get my roller bottle. Be Boss is what I call it because it's a combination of about four oils and a carry oil. And I just rub it on my neck. It puts me in the, um, the frame of mind that, you know what, I am doing what I need to in order to see my financial situation change, to see what um, the visions that I put into place come to pass. So it's just a, a fun little blend of oils that I rub on but I forgot to bring it because you know your girl was in a different mind space but that's neither here nor here here nor there but anyway in Young Living we are doing a dream 500 which means that we're running towards a goal and we were to create some I am statements sorry about the clock we are we were to um, create some I am statements some affirmations and I had done some affirmations before but I'm bringing them back into this season of doing this dream 500. And so I want you to be able to talk to yourself, to use that self encouragement and that self motivation in order to find your voice. And when I say find your voice, I'm talking about the dreams that you had. I'm talking about the vision that you foresee for your life, because in those moments that you can constantly flood your mind with that positive stuff and yes I can and I am able and God is willing to meet me where I am and the universe is going to conspire to make this happen because we understand those things that we say and speak and think on those are the things that become our reality so speak to the goodness of who you are to the purpose and the plan that God has for your life to your ability to show up on any given day even when you don't feel like it all right. Okay. So point number five, look for the bigger picture. Now I'm going to tell you right now, of course, we all understand where we are with this coronavirus and I'm not excited about having to wear masks in um, public, not necessarily for any of the reasons people probably think. And I, I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way, but it's just hard to breathe in those things. It's just literally hard to be to breathe and be sociable and, and try um, to not come off as, you know, we're in the midst of this crisis and everybody's got their head down and nobody's speaking and nobody's talking. Well, you know, for me, I can find myself in that place very easily. But being in a position where you're trying to be aware and you're and you're trying to um, outgrow that stuff of the past you know, wearing a mask is just not exciting for me because it cuts down on my ability to socialize because you know what, guys, I can't talk and breathe at the same time in the mask. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to apologize and just put this out there right now. If you, if you see me out and I'm not necessarily having a conversation or, or not as sociable, it's because I got to put this mask on because I'm going to do what is required of me. And, and it's become, you know, something that we all have to now do. And it's for the greater good. I mean, I, I, I get all of that. But, you know, it's just not one element, okay? So we have to see the, the picture, the bigger picture, and how it relates to everybody. As you walk through this life, you know, 
it is just not about you. And I have to tell myself that, like, you need to tell yourself that this, everything that we do, everything that we say, everything that we feel, and everything that we do is not about us. We need to think beyond who we are and see the world as a whole, that we're all human. It doesn't really matter the color of your skin. It's the color of the blood that runs through your veins. And you know what? If you cut any one of us, it's all the same color. And it's because of the blood that we are able that we have a testimony. It is the reason that we can share our testimony and people can relate to us, not because of the color of my skin, not because you knew how I grew up or, or you can feel my pain. I, I, You know, time out for all of that. The fact that we're all human <laughs> and the color of my blood runs the same as yours if we're all cut. That's the bigger picture, right? And then finally, point number six, laugh. <laughs> you know, I have found in those very moments that when life is just like pressing down on me the hardest, rather than get into all that sad, sappy love stuff that I love so much, okay? Please understand what I'm saying. I have to find those things that uplift me, that make me laugh, that give me joy, that gives me peace, that puts my mind frame in a in a, fr a time frame of happiness and satisfaction that nobody else can give me. Nobody else can make me happy. And I want you to understand that laughter really is good for the soul. And happiness is in your hands. It has nothing to do with anybody else, what somebody is saying or doing to you, whether they're offending you or not offending you, whether they value the color of your skin or the sound of your voice, or if they love you like you love them. Now, there are things that you just need to take, you know, and put into practice. Don't be used. Don't be a doormat. But by God, by all means, no matter where you find yourself, find laughter. Be happy. Be joyful within. Find that peace, that love, that joy that comes only from the one that you serve. Right? And put laughter in the place of sadness. Now, sadness does. It refines us. It makes us realize that, hey, what? I need to practice gratitude. I need to give myself a little self-compassion. I need to reward myself. I need to speak those personal affirmations that will give me a bigger, broader picture of who I am and what I can do. And then I need to look at the bigger picture, the world around me, the people that walk in and out of my life. Because then what? It will bring me to laughter. It will bring me to joy. It will bring me to peace in the one that I serve. So, hey guys, this is PM Mathis, your global indie author distributor. And as always, 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 I want you to what? Be blessed. Now, remember, guys, to connect with your girl on social media Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And now I have a podcast on Anchor, and it's called Your Voice Matters. So, hey guys, like I said, connect with your girl, and I will be talking to you later. Bye.